Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Today is a very basic tutorial and by basic I mean very basic. If you've been using the GIMP or Photoshop for any length of time at all then I would suggest turning this tutorial off right now. Go and find something better to do. You already know this stuff. Um, this is the very basic introduction to layers for people that literally haven't used the GIMP or Photoshop before. Um, or maybe you've been using it for a little while but you're still not quite sure of the layers, which is fine. I'm not here to judge you. Anyway, um, Layers, very simply, are just layers. Um, you can move them around independently of one another and they don't change the value or the appearance of the thing below or the thing above them. Um, they store all their own information on their own layer and they can be moved around like a collage on paper. Um, if you're used to using something like MS Paint or Paintbrush or any of those basic drawing programs on your computer, um, you can think of the white background that you get on that as a canvas or a sheet of paper and everything you do to it is just painted on or inked on um, or penciled on you can rub it off but ostensibly you can't do anything other than just put stuff on it with GIMP and Photoshop instead what you have is this thing called layers where you can put things onto your sheet of paper but you can then move them around and you can stick other things on top of them so as I said before it is like it's making like a collage um, so the very basics of layers, firstly you'll find layers in the GIMP in this dock over here. Um, if you ever lose your layers dock, um, I've already made a tutorial on this before, but you can find it by going to file and then dialogues and create new dock, layers, channels, paths and then something like this will jump up. And you want to have this one here with the, uh, the three sheets of paper um, clicked and that will open up your layers and it will look something like this. And what you can see here is several layers that I've already made um, prior to starting this tutorial. Um, now this eyeball at the side tells us that the layer is currently visible. If I get rid of these eyeballs just by clicking on them, um, the layers themselves actually become invisible. So with all of them unchecked, with no eyeballs, um, what we're left with is a checkered background. Now this checkered background tells us that um, it is a completely transparent image and um, there is nothing there at the moment this checkered image is the GIMP and Photoshop's way of rendering a, a transparent image um, and you can see that I've got several layers here that you can't currently see if I just put this one back I've got a layer that I've labelled um, the tabletop <coughs> because I think it's helpful to think of layers as I say as just having a desk space in front of you where you can move cut out bits of paper around, cut out images, cut outs of text um, around quite freely and you can put them on top of each other or you can change the the order of the layers. So I've made a tabletop and on top of that tabletop I've got a piece of paper which you can't currently see. But if I just bring that back up, here I've got my piece of paper. Now if I press M, it's a shortcut key to give me my move tool, um, and I select the piece of paper rather than the tabletop, um, you can see that I can now move that sheet of paper around on the table. Um, quite straightforward, just as I could any normal piece of paper on a table. What I've also got are some letters that you can imagine having been cut out. Now at the moment they just look like they're fixed to the tabletop, but obviously these are layers exactly the same as the other thing that we've got there already, and they can be moved around as well independently. They can be stacked up on top of each other, and although it looks like a mess, when I start to drag them back out, you'll notice that they haven't actually changed the letters are still complete they've not been damaged or or destroyed in any way so they can just be moved around as you would just any cut out letter um, and you can do exactly the same with images one of the cool things about layers in a program like GIMP or Photoshop rather than real life though is that you can change the layers um, without changing the thing above or below quite easily. So if I just show you what I mean by that, if I wanted to um, say write the word layers at the top of my sheet of paper, you'll notice very quickly that I've got a problem in that I've not got enough room to write the whole word. But what I can do, if I select my paper layer and click on this button here which is the scale tool I can change the size and shape 
of that layer. If I just move it up to there. And then we need to press scale so it saves it. And then when I go back onto my move tool and start moving these down again, we've now got that exactly the right size. Well, maybe if I just put that up there a little bit, make it look tidy. So it all fits on. So that's one cool thing we can do with the layers. We can manipulate one layer without changing the overall effect of the rest of them. Um, another thing we can do, we can draw on a background layer without affecting what happens on top. So if I was to take my fill bucket and I check pattern fill and I choose a cool pattern, I quite like this rain pattern, and I click on the paper layer, you always want to make sure that the, the layer you're working on or the layer you intend to work on is the one that's highlighted. Um, it can have strange effects if you've accidentally got it on a different layer and you think you're affecting the one behind. Um, and I can just fill that and you'll see that it's filled in that white layer but it's left the text on top completely unaltered. And if I wanted to I could still move these around and you'll see that that fill has gone even behind the letters or the other layers um, all the way through. It hasn't accidentally kind of left. And if I was to do this in paint, um, if I could then move this, you'd see a big white L underneath there where obviously it didn't fill where the black was over the top of it. So that's one thing we can do. And we can do exactly the same effect just to the other letters as well. So if I choose some other patterns, um, maybe let's get some vivid ones I could then fill each of these letters individually just by choosing the layer that I want to work on choosing a pattern and filling it and it's very straightforward um, and I won't bother doing the rest of those so that's quite straightforward um, I hope this helps people understand layers um, if you want to retitle a layer, you can see I've given all of these different titles, then you just double click on it and you can give it a title that makes sense to you and press enter. Um, and another thing you can do, um, you can duplicate your layers by clicking on this double screen here. So if I press duplicate then I get copies and I can make as many copies as I want. If I want to get rid of a layer because it's useless, I can press this little trash can and it will delete it. And finally, if I want to make a new layer, um, I can click on this little white sheet of paper here. And then the new layer dialog will jump up and you can choose whether it will be transparent, white, or whether it will have the foreground or background color. And your foreground color will be this one and your background color will be this one. And that's quite straightforward. Um, and I think that's everything there is to know about layers. Um, one thing else as well I will say, you can link layers. So if I want to move the word layers that I've put there and I don't want to do it one letter at a time, then if I click next to the eyeball, you'll see there's a little chain. And then if I use my move tool again, this time when I move it, all of them will move at the same time. So if I have lined them up perfectly, then I don't have to worry about doing that. And if I want to unlink them, or I want to unlink certain ones of them then I can do something like that um, but I really do think that's everything to do with layers or the basics at least anyway um, and I think that's it um, I hope this has cleared up any confusion in the layers and if not then feel free to drop me a line thanks very much for watching goodbye